We welcome you to Bella Vista High School, Fair Oaks, California, for another night of lacrosse here on YouTube. The Bella Vista Broncos getting set to take on the Roseville Tigers. It's the first game in the month of April and the first for both teams since coming off spring break. Neither team played last week with the Broncos last taking the field on March 22nd, defeating Davis 8-6, to improving their record to 3-5. A much different story for the Roseville JV squad. They come into this game 0-3-1, having last played on March 20th and have only taken the field four times this season as a JV squad. That's half the number of games uh, as BV. For lacrosse, Roseville plays in the Foothill Valley League, which is a 10-team league, but only Roseville, Wood Creek, and Christian Brothers have a JV team. That means limited opportunities for the JV squad. For the Roseville Tigers, they actually play Wood Creek three times this season. And having not played a game as a group in three weeks, we'll see if that affects them for this game tonight. Good evening, everybody. George Tharlson and David Houseworth with you. Welcome to Bella Vista Lacrosse on YouTube. First of all, we have the JV game between the Broncos and the Tigers uh, talking about that layoff, especially for Roseville, March 30th. It's been a, a, a while. I know that you've talked about the importance of extra practice time, but not having game time is, is that, that, that can be trouble too. It can take some edge off. I mean, you know, there's just a, a sequence that typically goes on during the season and then spring break breaks the sequence, breaks the cadence. And so, yeah, first one back um, there. Well, only a couple days back to school since spring break. So that cadence has only just come back. And then the team, how much were they able to practice, if any, during that time? So um, spring break ruins everything <laughs> in the lacrosse <laughs> season uh, because cadence uh, I I is really an important thing. And, and it breaks that. So uh, they're both coming back from it. We'll see how they do. And we'll talk about this more with the varsity game because it, it was an issue that affected the var varsity game. But I am sure that's what led to the cancellation of the varsity game last Friday because uh, uh, Grant didn't have enough players that, that uh, all of a sudden were not available on Friday night. It was a late uh, it was a late announcement, and so I'm sure that spring break had something to do with that. Right. It, it's hard w when you schedule a game during spring break, and so uh, you can, can almost expect that. Uh, and uh, I, I wonder, you know, uh, just Grant is a newer program. Do they have that many bodies in the first place? I don't know that, but it's possible. And I was talking with one of the varsity BB players right before the game here. He said the goalie, the, the Grant goalie, was the one, one mm. of the ones who was not able to make it, and that changes everything. Right, and if you don't have one, yeah, and, and, and Grant doesn't have a JV team, they're they're actually in the same uh, the same league. They don't have a JV team either. So we are now going to have the national anthem, and then we're going to get this uh, game underway. The Bella Vista Broncos are in their home white uniforms, and the uh, Roseville Tigers will be in their visiting black uniforms, and we will get this ball game underway here in just a few moments here. And again, just back from spring break, just a couple of days into the uh, uh, the next part of the, the, the school season, the, the, the home stretch, I guess, for the school year, and uh, the final month of the lacrosse season. Yeah, uh, right in the middle of the season here, and so teams have uh, probably established a character by now, uh, established what you know, who they are and what, what they're like, and uh, at least a baseline, certainly a baseline, and they can go from here. Um, talking with Coach uh, Zach Glenn before the 
before the game here, a couple things BV wants to focus on, which is value their possessions, and be a little more aggressive and, 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 and have some greater teamwork, you know, set some things up. So um, you know, they've had time throughout the season to get ready for that. Um, and then I, one other distinction we can make between the two teams here, black and white couldn't be more different, right? But the, yeah. the, the black team will only have two subs, and that's right. going to be really hard. Um, so they, they, they may very well and in wear fact, out. Uh, we understand that uh, due to lack of player availability, some of the JV players have been called up to the varsity for tonight. And we were also handed another uh, roster that we're going to have to work off of. And we understand there's going to be two number 23s in this game. One of them is going to be the one taking the faceoffs, and the other one uh, is, I guess, uh, one that he will be doing other stuff. Yeah. So 23, <laughs> 23 is going to be everywhere. So we're going to see uh, we're going to see a couple of 23s. They've adjusted some of the numbers based on what we have or what you may see on uh, on Max Prep. So we're going to we're going to try and uh, 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 make our way <laughs> through this and. Uh, get through and make sure that everybody is uh, properly credited as we go through the game uh, here tonight. So let's uh, let's get ready. The teams are meeting out at midfield for the uh, uh, the traditional greeting and instructions and here's what you're supposed to do and here's what you're not supposed to do kind of stuff. And we will get uh, we'll get ready to uh, get this uh, this game underway here. So it was a good win the other night, uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, right going into spring break, as a matter of fact, uh, in Davis for the uh, the JV squad. They got down early, they came back, uh, they came back a couple of times, and then once they uh, once they were able to get the lead, they uh, they held on to it. Oh, that's and great. That was that was really good for them. So, Lev Elliott continues to impress in goal. That's great. You know, Davis is a good program, so notching a win against them is a, is a great thing. All right, so we are underway. And Jaden Duby, number 23, is the one that wins the faceoff, and he is uh, right down the middle of the field. Uh, Roseville turns it over immediately, so Bella Vista. We'll see if they can build out of here. One thing I hope you don't say a lot tonight, David, is failed clear. Well, we'll see. Uh, that's been the varsity's uh, theme. We'll see what the JV does here. Again, the value of the possession is is one of the is the first key, and this is where it starts here. Uh, the whistle blew. What's? I wonder what is. Uh, He's got a ball. We got all the players. Refs over there. Well, there He's, a He's a still looking at issue? something. There shouldn't be a clock issue. We're just 10 seconds in. Oh, are we playing 10-minute quarters? Now we're going to play a 95-minute quarter. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're playing 10-minute quarters. So they had to readjust the clock and take the time to do that. So here come the Broncos. First offensive possession. You know, and the first successful clear. Right out in front, yeah, Thomas Lonnie. Here. Lonnie Ooh. with a shot. Save. Nice save by the goalie. They hit the goalie right in the, right in the stick. Got to place that in a better spot. So, you know, going uh, coast to coast here, uh, again, Roseville only has two subs. Roseville's not going to be able to do this all day. This is Andres Sanchez. Takes it all the way back behind the net. So he'll work from the X position. Again, another key for the uh, BB team today is aggressiveness. Let's see if we can get some of that on, on and defense One of their here. best defenders, Trent Sheridan, is following Sanchez all the way back out to the, past the 35-yard line of the football markings. Jonathan Trujillo. Chase Munoz. They'll work their way around. Mason Finn. Finn's going to wind up. That one goes wide. Roseville will keep possession. The shot was left-handed. We'll see if we watch him and see if he plays throughout the game left-handed or, or, or uses both. Trying to also, because we have the two number 23s, trying to pinpoint a difference between the two. And one of them has a red shirt. And I don't think that was the face-off guy, but we'll... But the face-off guy's still out there. Oh, he is? He has lower socks. He has lower socks. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. And so that's Doobie. And, and gray shoes on the 223 that's on the sideline. Okay. 
And Doobie's also got the red shirt. So those are some those are some things that uh, that announcers will look at in trying to differentiate, but uh, help you folks at home do the same thing. Oh, he could have shot that, I think. He could have. But he was shot the last one left-handed. Now he's right-handed. He might not have been comfortable there. Finn will send it over left side. Good defense by Bella Vista to keep him on the outside here. Good poke check there. You like to see that. Good feed on the defender, too. It's Gottschalk that has the defense. Mason Finn with the ball. Munoz picks it up. Now it's loose on the ground again. Your rugby scrum, Bella Vista controls. This is Mosley. He's got him beat. On the move, here's Lonnie once again. Lonnie with the angle, loose ball. Oh, you got it. Posein cannot control. You got to make more effort on that ground ball. That was one hand, and one hand is iffy on getting a ground ball like that. And it's, it's, it's making its way out. It's got the pace to get out. You got to make a greater effort on that. Dylan Roberts trying to fight his way forward with the long stick. Good defense by Bella Vista. Couple of checks there, forced the ball loose. Broncos have it. This would be a good time to swing it around a couple times. Uh, BB hasn't been on offense much. Uh, and uh, be just be good to play on this end of the field for a little while. That's a short hop pass to Max Posehn. And so that's going to go over to Roseville. Again, unforced errors. Like you said, that, yep. that was a good – they had the right idea. Right. Take it behind, and uh, so now BV's last ride shut off the clear from Roseville. And look look at the ride that's going on here. Every white shirt is on a black shirt. So this is a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty decent ride here. And causing a turnover or just pick it up and go? There we go. It turnover. did go out of bounds. By the way, that's Ethan Dahl, number 26 in goal for – uh, for Roseville. Here's Reynolds behind the net at the X. Nice cut. Right out in front looking for Deacon. Couldn't find him. And here come the Tigers going back the other way. That's Munoz. Munoz chased down by Deacon. Loose ball on the ground. And the Tigers will set things up once again. Trujillo on Gottschalk. Broncos are going to have a chance on this one. That's Thomas Lonnie. So it's a three uh, three white on four black, so don't want to push this. Hossein's right in front of the net. Don't need to push this. Lonnie's looking to wind up. His shot goes wide. It hits Hossein. angle. Hossein secures the possession. And it sounds like Bella Vista's going to take a timeout. Not a bad call here, I, I think, because, you know, they, like you said, they haven't really been able to set their offense up very much. There have been a couple of unforced errors. Here's a chance to regroup and uh, maybe get it all set up and uh, reset this. Exactly. It's, it's early, and so, you, you know, you might not typically use a, a, a timeout right now, but value the possession, the two, two of the keys, value the possession and teamwork, set something up. So that's what they're going to do right here. Uh, so they're going to set something up and, you know, essentially run a play. They may s s not kill some time, but use some time first and then run the play. But that's what they want to get done here. So just resetting, because we haven't been with you for a while, uh, the, uh, uh, the Broncos, uh, Avery Deacon leads the way with 14 goals on the season. Thomas Lonnie has 13 and has played three less games because he was injured at the start of the, the, the season. But those are your two, uh, two top goal scorers. Max Posehn is one of the ones that leads in uh, uh, overall other stuff. Uh, 24 ground balls on the year and seven uh, caused turnovers. Um, and then uh, Ashton Gottschalk, 21 ground balls on the year uh, for, uh, for Bella Vista uh, as well. It's just kind of eyeballing the statistics. Uh, 27 ground balls for Frankie Pellegrini and 54 saves, a 48% save percentage for Lev Elliott, which is up significantly from earlier in the season. He has really taken that uh, that that goalkeeper's job. So Roseville has subbed at least one guy. They've got the other 23 in there now. I'm not sure if the, uh, the other guy on the sideline was playing or not. So again, some fresh legs. Uh, That's a nice interception by Roseville here. on the move. He's got a guy on That's the crease. Moon he found him. Right out in nice front. Job. There's a shot and a score. Yep. 
Excellent movement there. Andre Sanchez is the one that uh, intercepted that ball, took it all the way down, and then he found Mason Finn right in front of the net, and Mason Finn nets the goal. Roseville takes a 1-0 lead. That was a great pass and a great shot, and a good catch, too. Uh, that's, you know, you're... When you're catching that pass and it's you know you're all alone on the crease and you know you can get all kind of amped up going ah and but he snagged it and put it right uh, right past the goalie that was well done. So first goal of the game that goes to Mason Finn for Roseville. So that goal was on transition and not a settled offense. Mostly what we've seen so far, mostly is what we've seen so far is settled offense, and we haven't haven't been a lot of shots created on settled offense. So could this game come down to who does transition better? Potentially. There's Max Posehn right out go. in front. He's got a chance. Uh, that one short hops the goalie. It will go out of bounds. Bella Vista will keep possession. Needed that one on cage, but that was a well-built shot. This is Lonnie way out, way out front. He's got his guy beat. It's a couple of screens here. He's going to wind up. That shot goes wide. Posehn will secure possession for BV. We'll have to work on his sidearm shot. Getting his right elbow, his lead elbow, pointing toward the goal. Get a little greater accuracy. Reynolds. This will be a shot, too. On goal. Oh, oh just goes wide. Hits the side of the net. He had an opening right there, too. Seapock. BB's created some good open shots on this possession. I, I suspect that we continue to be able to do that. The flag down here, too. I'm not so sure about that call, but it, the flag is on the ground. Reynolds oh, four, cutting four across. Was cutting. He oh. was cutting across. Didn't see him. Here's Lonnie. Lonnie tries to bring it back around himself. He'll swing. He'll shoot. He'll score. Goal Broncos, number 15, Thomas Lonnie. That's his first of the game. Ties the score at one with 4.25 to go in the opening quarter. Penalty call is slash one minute, two one. And he serves it anyway, despite the goal. So this, I guess, non-releasable? No, uh, they did, did not call non-releasable, but uh, we're, we're, we've got a man in the box for Roseville and a man down face. So they're enforcing the penalty. Doobie to go up against Seapock. Seapock wins that one, but then loses the ball. So here's Doobie. He's got to run faster. Doobie looked very uncomfortable handling the ball. This is Anderson coming back the other way. He's got him beat. So this is a fast break. He should go across to his right, across to his right. He oh, has help. He's going to wind up with a long stick and take a shot. He had 4-4 on the crease. This ball should have gone there. They may not have spent much time uh, a running fast break, and especially with a long stick bringing the ball down, uh, downfield. But the, a, a fast break has a pattern, has a play uh, set up normally. BB was in it, and uh, it often gets a guy open on the crease, just like 4-4 was. Everett Stanbach is into the game for the first time. Number 30. Here's Thomas Lonnie. He's thinking. He's thinking about it. Flag down once again, loose ball on the goal. Whistle here. And it got caught in the piping on the outside of the goal, so this is going to go against Roseville as well. So Sanchez's penalty is probably just about done. And Dylan Roberts will now come off. So Sanchez, Sanchez's penalty is done. Reynolds. Stanbach can't control. Reynolds picks it up. Cutting in Oliver Thompson. There's an ball. angling shot from Posehn. That's deflected away. And another shot for Bella Vista. In traffic, but the Broncos keep possession. Stanbach with it. Spin it back to the X. It's a rotation. There's six guys moving. Standbot comes shot. up That's with it. That's a shot. That's a shot. That's a shot. Right side. Reynolds tries to get it to Lonnie. And Dahl will come up with it for Roseville. 
So a good lengthy possession for Bella Vista. A couple of shots, nothing finds the net. Roseville's even now. And here's Doobie. Doobie in traffic. Pretty tough to fight through there successfully. Trujillo. Good poke check. Nice move and a 360. But he's closed off immediately, forced wide. Two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Elvis is in good shape here to get it. Max Posehn was there. Phoebe stepped on the line. They could have called that. Here's Deacon. Deacon right side. He's got Posehn right in front of the net. Back to Lonnie. Lonnie having trouble controlling it. Reynolds picks it nice up. Pick he up. shoots and scores. Joe Reynolds, first goal, goal of the game. Number 44, Joe Reynolds. It was a good ground ball and uh, you know, get that picked up and quickly and sharply put in the goal. Good it job. Broncos two. 1.43 to go in the opening quarter, and the Broncos with their first lead of the game for Joe Reynolds. That is his sixth goal of the year. By the way, the one for Lonnie was his 14th, which ties him with Avery Deacon for the team lead. Facing it off, Doobie and Seapock. Munoz controls for Roseville. Uh, butt end of his stick was sticking way behind him. That would have been a good place to check. <laughs> Trying to control the loose ball. Bodies flying everywhere and Push a whistle. In the Push away. in the back. It's going to go to Bella Vista. He's got a man coming in from the box here. And that's Oliver Thompson who will uh, enter the attack for Bella Vista. Lonnie, Stanbach at the X. BB coach calling yellow. They want to slow down because they want to sub. One coming off. One Pellegrini's kind of getting ready to come in for Seapock. Uh, that pass was a little close to the defender. Got to, got to notice that. Loose ball, big time scrum. Still, who's going to get it? The low man's going to get the ball. David that's Houseworth has said that many times. That's who. 11 got kind of low there. Oh, good job, BB. And that's, that's Pellegrini with it. Good to pull that out. Didn't have any attack behind. Uh, if he let it fly and missed, then, then it would have been black ball. So here's a shot. Swinging shot. Oh, that one's deflected. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Bronco ball. You're going to want to get Lonnie to work on that over straight overhand shot. More accurate. Better placement. Now, on this matchup here, I bet, uh, is that Lonnie with the ball? Yep. Yes. Bet. He's winding uh, up. Oh. <laughs> I bet he's quicker than the number four. Uh, the defenseman. So the next time they match the up, you might want to. First quarter, first quarter comes to a close to here at Bella Vista, and the Broncos with a two to one lead. They gave up the first goal. It took us a while to get a goal, um, almost half the first quarter, but Roseville got the first one, and then uh, Bella Vista's answered with, with two more. And again, more extended possessions than what they had earlier in the game. Yeah, uh, value, uh, again, key to the game for uh, from Coach Glenn v value the ball, value the possession. And so uh, they, they've done a decent job of that. They were man up a couple of times there too. So those uh, you know, easier to control while, while you're man up. So I, you know, I think they've, they've executed a few things. And I think that some of the cuts that we've seen and some of the drives that we've seen by BB, I think they can replicate that. They can do that again. And, and I think they ought to be able to and make that effective. And so far we talked about Lev Elliott and goal. He really hasn't been tested. Just right. faced the one shot on goal there that, uh, that happened to go in. But uh, Roseville isn't really getting a lot of looks. And, and I, guess you would credit the Bella Vista defense a lot for that. Yes, I mean, the defense has been a, a little bit aggressive, another key to the game from the co from uh, from Coach Glenn. So BB's been a little bit more aggressive. And then, you know, the stick handling on Roseville, not really high, not, uh, high, you know, not high, highest quality. So their ability to create create a shot will be somewhat limited. Uh, but, again, BB can, 
can take control of a lot of that by being aggressive. All right, second quarter will get underway here with the Broncos leading one to nothing, or I'm sorry, two to one, one goal lead. And uh, both 23s are in. Uh, and the face-off guy, it looks like there's an outline on his number, like maybe an orange outline, and oh, the, yeah. the other 23 doesn't have that. Well, you can use his uh, Indian name, Low Sox. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Underway. Good face-off, good, good draw uh, by uh, 23 Low Sox. Loose ball. Oh, got to have that. And Bella Vista... On defense now, good job by Roseville to finally control that one. There's a cutter, there's a cutter. Oh, good D, good D. And the other 23 is Braden Woods, by the way. Broncos have it momentarily. That was Leo Hansen lost it. And now it's scooped up by Gottschalk, and Gottschalk is on the move. He'll get this. Oh. Well, Lonnie will get it. Broncos are getting in position now. Lonnie, he's winding up from distance, and he scores! Thomas Lonnie launched that one from Rockland. And the Broncos now take a 3-1 lead. Yeah, 15 yards, but he had. Boy, did he have a head of steam. And a key element of that shot was its placement, and its place was on the ground. Harder to save for the goalie. Uh, from low, too high. Good, good shot placement. So 9.15 to go, second quarter. Thomas Lonnie now takes the lead in uh, goals for the season. Second of the game, 15th of the year. Nice save. Lev Elliott comes up with that one. That was off the goal, but a good snag so we can get a quick, uh, quick clear going. Ground ball there. Broncos on the move. You want to see him get rid of that. And that was yeah. There's only two guys back on defense. Mason Anderson. The they, yeah, you needed Mitty back there because with with Mason Anderson uh, attacking, across, yeah. uh -huh. uh, somebody needed to stay back. Lack of communication, probably. You want you want to hear the bench screaming Mitty back as soon as that long stick picks it up and starts heading upfield and looking like he's going to go like that. And that's a good point because y you you know in in the young youth level uh, you tell the players that they have to scream it, but the bench needs to be screaming it too. Yeah. And you know, and it's and it's the long sticks job to, uh, to 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 get the ball cleared and not really be looking for that. The guy who's clearing it, it's okay. Go, Lonnie. Right out there in front, go. Oliver lefty Thompson. Oh. Lefty to lefty. Good looking play though. Bella Vista will keep possession. 8:30 to go, in the in the first half. Coach, send, can tell him to send it around. Aiden Hall. Oh, he had help. He had help on his left. In front shot and a score. Looks like that may have been Oliver Thompson. Number 34, Oliver Thompson. With seven minutes and for Thompson. That's his ninth goal of the year. First goal of the game, 4-1 Bella Vista. Yeah, good job to find his way through the traffic there. He had to weave and weave, and then uh, also two shot placement on that one as well. It shot from high, too low, and very close to, almost impossible for the goalie to save that. White kick the stick, going black. Roseville's been winning the draws and, and a number of the uh, face-offs as well. <laughs> and forcing the player, the, the opponent to kick the stick. Yeah. Here's Munoz. He'll take a shot. Goes wide. Mason Finn, who has the lone Roseville goal, will bring it in. Trujillo. That's good defense play right there. 
just harass and see how it makes the midi go backwards. I like this aggressiveness in Bella Vista. I haven't seen this. Cross. Here he comes again. He's a little far out, but uh, that's good. Another flag down now. Oh, yeah. And now Lonnie's going to come <laughs> come in. Yeah, Lonnie stepped across. There's a shot that goes wide. It'll go out of bounds, and now we'll get the flag. Lonnie did step across the the, the 50, and uh, he knows it. And, and, he, and he knew it as soon as the flag came down. He took off down the field. Like you had said, you might as well, might if as well you're outside, play. you might as well go yeah. play. And yeah. Yeah, so first BV man down for the game here. We see what Roseville can put together for man up. No man on the crease for uh, Roseville. Open set. Is it five men guarding the Look crease for Bella Vista? Look at the sticks up on BV. That's exactly what should be happening. And so often does not happen. But look at it being done right here. Good coaching. Because that, what that, what's that doing is taking up the passing lanes. Often what you want to do on man up is not only pass to the guy next to you, but skip it through to someone else. Those sticks are taking up the passing lanes. Save Lev Elliott on the shot by Finn. Joe Reynolds. That's a three on what three on two. Waited for it. Right out in ah. front. That was Seapock that was out in front. Couldn't control it. Deacon scoops it up. Deacon says, I want that goal lead back. Nice. And he, he scores. Goal, goal, and then he's tied with Lonnie again. So it's now 5-1 in favor of Bella Vista. 6.03 to go. Three or four of those five goals were shot left-handed. Um, just a, a little unique. Doesn't mean really anything, but just great to be able to see that most guys are right-handed. So most shots are going to come right-handed. Great to be able to see that. Great to see that left-handed shots are being taken and going in as well. It's a white move. Yep. Sometimes your instincts just take the better of you. Uh, no, Actually, I guess it, he moved because he was forced to move. Johnny Low Sox. That's his gangster name. <laughs> <laughs> and his uh, uh, official name, by the way, is Jaden Doobie. With no gangster affiliation. So this Munoz. guy has good size, good speed last time. He uh, he cleared one earlier. Uh, it's now four on three. Uh, uh. Sheridan. Now we'll need a midi back. All the midis are back right now. So somebody's got to decide to stay. Now we got two of them decide. It's like one Seapoc across. is the one that's staying back. You can see it. Sheridan. See, we want him to make that pass decision a little sooner. Um, he got to a place where he couldn't go any further, and, he, and then he needed to get rid of it, and it was sort of too late to pa pass that under control. You also had two Broncos, Lonnie and Posehn, kind of in the same general area, so I think there was a little confusion on their part as to yeah. who was going to pick up the ball. But if he uh, if he doesn't have, know it, th who he's going to pass it to by the time he gets to 35 or so, it should just stop and pull it out. But that's fine. We'll have the ball, and then we'll run the offense with short sticks. But uh, just just something to, something to learn um, for the next time. I mean, as soon as he crosses the 50, he needs to start thinking, what am I going to do? Do I have somebody now? Or am I, you know, or is no one covering me? Am I going to be the one who takes it in? Finn was out front, Flag took down. a shot. Flag is down. So a collision there that's going to result in a Bella Vista penalty. 4.42 to go, second quarter. Glad to have you along here on YouTube. One minute. Bella Vista and... Roseville will have the varsity game a little bit later on this evening. Got a doubleheader for you on Friday with the girls taking on West Park. And then we're back here on Monday, varsity only for uh, Bella Vista and Oakmont. The penalty is uh, seven white, cross check one minute. BB sticks uh, all in the air. Look at that. That's great. You won't even see the varsity do that. This is exactly what should be going on with the BB defense. Or maybe, maybe during the uh, the break, Coach Glenn has been See coaching up the varsity on that, too. Who knows? Well, he, he was a long stick player uh, when he played at BB here, class of 15. Uh, he knows.
This is going to stay with Roseville. About 20 seconds left in the penalty. Finn from behind the net. It's about as good a shot as they're going to get. He was fairly Out close. Front. That was Braden Woods, the other 23. Uh, good decision. Uh, uh. And that's a, oh, that's a good save in bounds. That's going to be picked up by Bella Vista. Look at that between Lonnie and Deacon. Deacon with a shot that goes wide. That was his right hand. I think he's left-handed, right? What a play by Lonnie, though. So the Broncos can now set it up. They've got a four-goal lead. They're still man down, so they want to just kill some time here. Now they're yeah, and now they've they have successfully done that. Seapock will come back on the field. As we approach three and a half to go. There's a low shot that Dahl comes up with for Roseville. He's not open. Intercepted by Seapock. Seapock on the move. Seapock nice move. in on goal. Takes the shot. Kick save and a beaut. So that shot was straight over those, which made, which put it on goal. That's great. Good to see. Thompson will pick it up. He's got two guys on him. That means somebody's open. It's 5 on 4 right down there. Swinging shot goes wide. Yeah, you want to see him get a little closer for that shot. wonder how many times over the next few years I'm going to get to call intercepted by Seapoc because he'll be on the field in the fall too. Oh, cool. So <laughs> Defensive back? Linebacker maybe, uh -huh. I believe. His brother had a pretty good career at Bella Vista. Just wrapped up this fall. Nice. Uh, Posein. Posein being harassed. Flags flying all over the place. And a oh, shot and a nice score nice, for nice. Bella Vista. Looks like Joe Reynolds. That's two for him picked up right in front of the goal and, and put in. That's uh, that's Broncos, great. Hard to do. 44, Joe Reynolds, his second of the night. I think that penalty is going to be on the head. Goal's good. You know, sometimes when that ball is bouncing around in front of the net, if, if you're just in the right place at the right time, you're going to be able to uh, pad your stats a little bit. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but a lot of traffic, um, and uh, of course you're close. Yeah, if you if you got it, easy to, easy to put it in the goal, but a lot of traffic right there, and can be hard to uh, pick up a ground ball that's right at your feet. So Doobie and Seapock will face it off once again. 6-1 six, six now is our score with 2.39 to go. This is a man down face. BB's up uh, up for a minute, uh, slash one minute on on the, on the Tigers. Seapock. Lonnie. That one goes off his stick. BB able to control. Lonnie once again. Try to sneak under, underneath. Gets free and he scores! Thomas Lonnie says to Avery Deacon, you're not going to have that goal lead long. That's a hat trick for Thomas Lonnie. Good feet by Lonnie on that move there. Uh, you know, he's got a, it was, it was a big defender he was on. And uh, he's to work his way on, uh, underneath like that. It's like it's like a rebound in basketball. Really, really close work and, and banging around uh, like you're under the hoop. So great, great feet to get that to happen. So Lonnie with three goals uh, and uh, Joe Reynolds has two. Deacon and Thompson have also scored for the Broncos. BB made that draw go where they wanted. Don't have the ground ball. Sanchez picks it up. Leo Hansen chasing him with the long stick. Went the BB defender to look for the bat the bottom of that guy's stick. It was behind him a little bit and uh, available for a check. Timeout block. So Roseville will take a timeout this time, and they'll regroup, trailing six to one. Tigers with one minute, to be so one minute 55 seconds to go here in the second quarter. We uh, are very happy to have you along here on a somewhat windy night with a really interesting cloud constellation right now. If you look up in the uh, uh, look up in the sky, it's uh, kind of a cool layout here. So um, that's uh, you, you get a look at it on your. Uh, on your screen, hopefully this does it justice a little bit as the uh, um, high, kind cl of high clouds and li li like lines of clouds. Yeah, high clouds means changing weather, and that's what the forecast is. It's been nice and 70s for the last couple of days, and going down to the 50s here for the next few. And so should uh, get some rain tomorrow. Yeah. Not sure if it's going to rain on the girls' game tonight or on the girls' game on Friday, 
but uh, we'll have it for you no matter what. Um, but yeah, just a really, uh, really interesting look to the sky this evening here. Uh, Fair Oaks, California. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, resume play here as Roseville will come back and take the field. So Roseville in possession. They're the ones that took the timeout. Yeah, Roseville offense will start on offense side right over there at the football number 10 on the far side. 2-1 Black's got the ball. Let's get all the white guys out there. We need them all. We need to hustle. So Roseville would have called timeout there. Two minutes left in the, in the quarter, two minutes and a half here. So they want to set something up. Sanchez. Nice block. Thompson keeps his balance on the move. Just wheels. We just want wheels here. He's able to stay in bounds. So now BV with with a minute and a half left. There you Reynolds. Go. Oh. oh. You know we had we saw that shot from uh, from Lonnie earlier where the ball went behind him as he swung <laughs> yeah, the right. stick back. Here I think it was something similar, although he had enough force that he got the shot, uh, and it was a shot because Bella Vista keeps possession here. And somehow it just came off the wrong part of the stick. So one minute and a quarter, just over one minute right now, just over. And uh, so BB again has an opportunity to you know, set something up, run a play. One minute remaining. This is Oliver Thompson works uh, off the screen. That's a moving pick. Yep, moving pick. That'll be on Aiden Hall. That's too bad. It's a turnover here. But and that's uh, just a turnover. It's not a penalty. Correct. 54 seconds to go. Roseville. And this one's going to go out of bounds. That will turn over to uh, the Broncos. 45 seconds here in the quarter. Plenty of time for BV to get a, get a clear done, get an offense set up. Ref wants to do something. Offsides white. 30 second. 30 second technical penalty. So Max Posehn will come over to serve that. Uh, two offsides tonight for BB or yep. three? At least two. I remember what Lonnie got the other one. Broncos are switching up now defensively. The restart again, on the far side again. We should see sticks up at some point. We do see that. Yep. Trujillo. That's Doobie. Doobie's going to wind up and take a nice shot. Save. Lev Elliott once again coming up big. There's some good defense by Sanchez. Sanchez catches Elliott out of the net and he scores. Go Tigers, number 21, Andre Sanchez. So that's the first goal of the game for Sanchez. Elliott's helmet snagged in the goal net, which which happens. You you know you reach in for a ball and the uh, the uh, the net will grab your. Grab your things coming off your helmet. It might have hurt him a little. Heavy play by uh, Sanchez, by the way, to track uh, Lev Elliott. Yeah. And he has he's got he's got a knee down right now. He's calling the coach over. They don't really have a, another goalie. They may have an emergency goalie. See if anybody is uh, getting ready to suit up here. Zach Len is he, sprinting. He, he may be bleeding or something, just trying to go in to get something for that. So we've got a bit of a delay here with the injured player. I think they're just calling halftime. 20 with seconds 20, left in the quarter. 20 seconds to go. Or was that sprinting to fix the goal, perhaps? Oh, no, it's for the goalie. They are they are fixing the goal, and you're right. It looks like maybe they have just gone ahead and called halftime. Yeah. Give them a chance to repair the goal. Are they fixing the goalie? And they're going to fix the goalie too. Yes. 
Nosebleed, maybe. Uh, look, that's what it looks like. It looks like a nosebleed. Which means uh, you ought to be, be able to be back. Take us to yes. The end of the first half. So that does bring us to the end of the first half of play here at Bella Vista High School. Seven goals, including one, two, three, four, five in the second quarter for Bella Vista. They have a seven to two lead here at the break. We will take a look and see what uh, uh, the story is with Lev Elliott coming out of uh, halftime. But again, if it's just a bloody nose, he should be all he should be all right. George Tharlson, David Houseworth with you. Welcome uh, inside the uh, inside the booth as we uh, are here at halftime. Uh, good second quarter for Bella Vista. Yeah, and they're doing the things that the coach talked about, the value in the possessions, to being more aggressive. We've seen that, and better teamwork. They're you know, passing the ball uh, uh, well to each other. So, you know, they're, 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 they're plan the work, work the plan. That's what's happening. And so that's, that's great to see. Roseville may be a little lesser team than they have uh, than Bella Vista has faced um, so far, but um, plan the work, work the plan. When it happens, you got to love it. Roseville 0-3-1 on the year, 0-1-1 in league play. And again, we mentioned they don't get a lot of opportunities to play because in their league, it's a big league, 10 teams, but only three or four of them have JV teams. And so they don't get the opportunity to play. Um, and uh, as such, some of their, and the, on top of that, some of their JV players are being called up to the varsity tonight due to some lack of availability from what we understand. Um, and so... Uh, but th for them, I'm sure that they're happy to be out on the field uh, because, again, the, it's been since March 20th that this JV team has yeah, played a game. You go to practice, go to practice, go to practice. Well, what for? You go to practice so you can play the games. And so to be able to, you know, suit up with your team and, and, and get out here, you know, on the, on, on, in the stadium uh, and play against another team, that, that's what you're doing it for. So, I'll, yeah, I'm sure it feels good to be out here for them. Well, we talked about the Broncos uh, JV squad coming off a very impressive win over Davis. Uh, it was uh, about a week and a half ago on the on the 22nd, right as they headed into spring break. Disappointing varsity result that night, but the uh, but the uh, the JV team they stuck with it. They got down early, trailed through much of the first quarter, but cl clawed their way back. Never let the game totally slip away. And then once they took the lead, I think it was their second lead of the game, they never trailed after that. And that was most of the second quarter and, and throughout the rest of the game. So impressive, uh, impressive uh, performance for them. And it's good to see that with this team because they've had, they had their struggles at the, the start of the season where they hadn't really played together and didn't really have much practice time. But this team has really improved over the last few weeks. Well, and I mentioned before, Davis is a good program. So uh, probably at everything, but they're a good pro program at, uh, at, uh, at lacrosse. And so when you beat them, uh, you know, at any level, it feels good. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a break when we come back. Second half of action at seven to two in favor of the Broncos as they lead Roseville here at halftime.
We are just about ready to get the second half underway here at Bella Vista High School. Seven to two is our score in favor of the Broncos. A, a really impressive second quarter. We mentioned five goals, five straight goals as a matter of fact. In fact, the Broncos after going down 0-1, seven unanswered goals until Sanchez found the back of the net for Roseville. So we'll get this uh, second half underway here in uh, in just uh, a few moments here as uh, the Broncos are, are doing their last uh, that last bit of huddle and they will um, take the field Stetson Seapock is coming back out to uh, take the um, the face off. 
for the Tigers, number 23, Jaden Dew. And we're underway with the second half. Broncos scoop this one up. And that's Pellegrini on the move, right down the middle. Meets the traffic. Stanbach controls. Hit a whistle. And we'll, res we'll resume play here. Here's Lonnie. Reynolds behind the net at the X position. Swinging shot that goes wide. Thomas Lonnie again. I want to work on that lead elbow so we can get some accuracy on those sidearms. It's a technique. If your lead elbow points at the goal, you'll be more accurate. Good check. Turn him back. No flag down, though. Deacon. Ball checked away. He can loops around the other way. And he takes a swinging shot. Kind of a shot against his body, I guess. That goes wide. And a slash one minute. So we've got three refs on the field now. The uh, varsity games have three refs. And uh, so I passed a ref walking in at halftime. And so I guess he's just joined in to just to help. Joining in on the fun. So BV man up. Got a man on the crease. We'd like to, see, like to see his stick up, the man on the crease. Up by his ear so we can pass it to him. Broncos working it behind the net. Deacon. Swinging no shot, he scores. Wow. Thomas Lonnie. No angle on that. That's good. Broncos, number 15, Thomas That's Lonnie the fourth of the game, the game for Thomas Lonnie. It's 8-2 in, two in favor of Bella Vista. In the third, it makes it Broncos 8, Tigers 2. So that brings Lonnie up to 17 goals on the year. Three shy of 20. Can he get there tonight? Possible. It's early in the second half. Broncos on the faceoff here. That's Leo Hansen. Hansen with the long stick. Oh, uh, he wanted to take the shot tonight, too. Mason nice Anderson's check. already nice taken one. Good, ball, good man ball. Uh, you Mason Anderson will pick this one up, and he has some running room. Good check on the bottom hand. Anderson. Get rid of that. He's got to get rid of that. He's going to take another shot. That's not Saved help. by Dahl. He had help. He had a, 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 an attackman down here on the left side, left side of the crease. Reynolds. Dahl with another save. Good choice. Good choice. Right guy. Munoz and Stanbach will fight for the loose ball. Stanbach with his height could be a basketball Failure. player. Failure. Failure advance. That's said probably about the third BV ride that has uh, two, a couple earlier in the game created turnovers. This one creates a failure to advance. Broncos working from behind the net. He's got to have his head up. He just noticed he wasn't looking uh, looking into the inside. I want to see him find the inside because so we had a BB man cut across the crease. It could have been fast too. Pass to nowhere. Who's going to get this one? Looks like Roseville. Rose, ref called the play on. He got offsides. Black going white. 
Bella Vista will keep possession. Trent Sheridan getting ready to come in. Ooh, that wind's really starting to kick up. You can hear it in our crowd mic a little bit too. The ref was standing right on the midfield line looking for exactly that. Thompson. Seeing a lot of missed passes like that for Bella Vista tonight. If by chance they didn't practice much last week, that could be what you get. You come back, come back after a layoff, and you're just not as sharp with the little things, like catching the ball. The JV team, by the way, will next be in action one week from today. They don't play Monday. The varsity will play Monday. There's an interception. Lonnie on the move. Lonnie left side. He'll wind up. That shot goes right in front of the God, goal. Nice save. Nice and then save. Thompson follows, and a great save by Dahl. Saved by the goalie, Ethan Dahl. Trujillo. Good check. Right out in front, Good big defense. collision. Player winds up on the ground, that's Mason Finn. That was uh, well executed by the BP defenseman too. Uh, use the proper technique to, to not cause a foul, but also be very effective by putting the attackman on the ground. Thompson Hunter. on the move. So this is a good time to settle. Uh, they're kind of going back and forth, back and forth. And uh, here's Lonnie, angling shot. He scores. Yep. Number five Goal for Thomas Broncos. Lonnie. Number 15, Thomas Lonnie, his fifth on the night. So that's nine to two now is our score. So we've seen that Lonnie can score, maybe not necessarily at will, but can score fairly easily uh, in this game here. So, so okay, now we know that. What we'd like to see is let's take take the time and work as a team. One of the three keys to the game here, teamwork, and uh, work the ball. Maybe it's maybe it is he that he gets the shot uh, later, but let's uh, let's let's work work the plan here a little bit more maybe. Max Posehn taking the face off for Bella Vista. Hudson Sable. He's over. First time we've called his name on the broadcast, I think. Gotta it's going to go them. out of bounds. Uh, actually, not, not quite. Seapok doing a good job to save it. And again, the Broncos can settle right here. And there's a shot. That one's high. Broncos will keep possession. Lonnie. Hossein here on the outside. On offense, you got to feel your defender doing that. Oh, that's a good ground ball. Nice look, nice look. Right hand. Swinging oh, shot, score! Bella Vista once again. Goal Broncos. And I believe that's you know 16, who. Avery Deacon, oh, that's Deacon. His second on the night. Deacon, his second goal of the game. Yeah, that goal got scored by uh, the good ground ball, the quick awareness by the, uh, was it 4 4 got the ground ball, was it? I missed yes, that. Yes, Joe yeah. Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, good ground ball, good awareness to quickly get that pass to the guy who was open, who could then, who was very close, who could then just zip it right into the goal. 4.34 to go in the third. It is now 10-2, Bella Vista. Vivi cleanly gets a, uh, a face-off. That's good to see. Bosain. See, now pushing it in there is trouble. Didn't need to really do that. He was well covered. It's just better to just take it down the alley or pull it out rather than angle in and then, you know, trying to be too quick. We're trying to get a, uh, a pass to the adjacent guy. We've seen a lot of those passes, though, from uh, uh, Bella Vista, and that's... Uh, multiple players making the passes where they wind up at the intended receiver's feet. Right, and that was just, you know, he was uh, a little harassed and he was a little under pressure to make that to make that pass, and which leads to a bad pass. Again, better to have just taken that ball down the alley, pull it out, be on offense rather than fight for a loose ball here on your side of the, your defensive side of the field. Failure. This will go to Bella Vista. Broncos will Take possession once again, 3.30 or 3.55 to go here in the third quarter. So that's a BV created, um, or the ride created that failure to advance. So good for them. 
We are talking a little bit earlier about the JV team's next game, 5.30 at Rio Americano a week from today. Good grab. Swinging shot, that one goes wide. And Bella Vista keeps possession. So that uh, the setup at Rio is a little different. They don't have lights at the stadium, so the varsity next Wednesday is going to play at 3.30, and the JV will play at 5.30. Uh, so... If you want to go and watch the varsity play Rio Americano, make sure you get the time off of work. Varsity will play here on Monday night against Oakmont as well. That is uh, showing as the regular varsity start time of 7.30 on Monday night here at Bella Vista. Another failure to advance. BB created. Like Max okay, Posehn is a little shaken up here. He's going to come out. Need another body. He can go. He can go. He doesn't need to wait. And Aiden Hall will come in for him. Let's get him to sprint over there. Max's dad, Dan, is one of the coaches for Bella Vista. 3-3 three, three could, uh, could have cut right there. There's Seapock. Deacon. Look at the size matchup here. Aaron Bryan. Yep. Big guy imposing his will. Gonna happen here too. Deacon <laughs> once again looking to weave his way through some defenders. He's got it. He'll take the shot. That one's on target, kind of. He's so limping a little. Right to the goal and over the over the top. He's limping a little. Limping more now. He should come out. He's just you know you're not you're not effective for your team if you're not 100. percent you Should pull yourself out. Yeah, he's limping. Now he can come out. There's a shot and a score for Bella Vista. Looks like Oliver Thompson gets that one. Goal Broncos number 34 Oliver Thompson his second on the night. So two for Thompson and his total on the year. He, that's, that is his 10th goal of the year for Oliver Thompson. 2.25 to go in the third quarter. And that brings the Bronco lead to 11 to two. That's a shot. That's Doobie, Ooh. he'll take the shot. <laughs> Way up. Nice, Bill. Munoz picks it up for Roseville. Just pushing his Religion. way through. You got to love that. Look at his size. I think he's a fullback. Yep. That's one thing the, uh, the Roseville team here. You look across all the bodies here, and they have a uh, much bigger size than, than BB. Um, so that means two things. One, they're bigger and more immovable force, but also, too, maybe can, can the BB guys use some quickness to, 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 to de defeat that. Trujillo, he's looking for an opportunity. <laughs> Flicks it over his shoulder. I don't even know if that's a shot. Um, I think that's what he was intending, but he doesn't own that shot. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not capable of that shot. Should, you know, not, not a good choice. First time out of the net for Lev Elliott. And a nice look pass. Get a slow break here. He's just 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 watching it all happen. Get all set it up. Yep. Uh huh. He'll spin it around. This man was out of position. Yep. See, Roosevelt's getting a little bit more aggressive now. Reynolds with a couple of goals tonight. Wait, wait Winds to see up it. on the ground, but he keeps possession. He saw the slide coming and decided to pull it out, which is exactly what he should do. See, now BB still has the ball. Wani. There's a cutter. Right out in front. Seapock yes. scores! Stetson Seapock! Oh, Broncos, number seven, Stetson Seapock. That's great lacrosse that right there. You want you know that shot was taken from five yards. And then one of one of the ways and one of the easy ways you can create a shot from five yards is for somebody to cut into that space rather than trying to drive the ball into that space. So 101 to go, third quarter. Stetson Seapock is fourth goal of the season. And Joseph Reynolds is going to come out and take the face off. He does this a few times. Wins.
winning about 25% of the face-offs. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, he was across. He came out. He, came, he, he stepped out of the box before he had possession. He's not allowed to come out of the box until possession is called by the ref. The illegal uh, procedure white. So it goes to Roseville. Same play, number one with the bull dodge. Just got to learn to handle the ball a little better. Pellegrini gets closed yeah. off on a double team. Nice spin move, but he forgot the ball. See, now when he had three guys on him, and, and as soon as he, he turned and he did his roll, better to just go back toward his own end line. Broncos with possession. No numbers, three on three. Seapock once again, he's already got one tonight. He's looking, really he's far. looking. Now he'll swing wide. Sable coming back into the game for BV. Seapock once again. Got to catch that. Can't control. Munoz has it for Roseville. And we will bring to an end the third quarter of play here at the Bella Vista quarter, High School, the Broncos. Score. Broncos they uh, have a 10-goal lead as we get into the final 10 minutes of play here at Bella Vista High School. Uh, of course, the varsity game to follow between the uh, uh, the Broncos varsity squad and Roseville Tigers. Uh, you know, the, the, quite a quite a performance tonight for the JV uh, squad. I'm I'm thinking of the uh, uh, the varsity game coming up and uh, the fact that. Uh, Quite an interesting couple of games between the varsity squads last year when Bella Vista played Roseville, one of which ended on uh, a shot that was taken out of a timeout with two seconds to go by Roseville, mm, and they yeah. won the game. Uh, uh, Devin Forgey has since graduated, but he was the one that found the back of the net uh, as time expired uh, at Roseville, and then it was uh, Roseville had a much easier time actually here beating Bella Vista uh, about a month later. Uh, but that was uh, certainly for uh, the returning varsity players. Uh, that one in Roseville is probably one that they remember and don't want to see repeat itself. I think that shot was taken from pretty far away too, right? It was, uh, I think he lined up maybe right around the 25-yard line. Yeah. But uh, with, with two seconds left coming out of the timeout, that's pretty much all you can do because you gotta you got to get that thing off before the clock expires. Right, right. And uh and that's what he did, and it, it got past, uh, I believe Lucian Weimer was the goalie. Uh, it got past him, and he ball game for uh, uh, for Roseville. It was a 9-8 win for the, the Tigers in that one. So it should be an interesting one tonight with the varsity game, and we will look forward to bringing that one to you a little bit later on this evening. Well, we got a good close-in view on the faceoff here. I love that. Yes. Now we've seen, uh, you know, one thing Roosevelt's done throughout this evening is they have won most of these draws. So often the ball is going toward the BB goal, you know, it's, it's loose at the draw, but it's going toward the BB, toward the BB goal. Um, so, uh, again, good job by Roosevelt making that happen. And I, uh, pushing. There we go. Going Bella the Vista way. controls that Seapock. Finally gets oh, possession of it. And that one's going to roll out of bounds. Reynolds had a little tough time controlling that one. And just under, uh, just we're at 9.55. All of that took five seconds. It looks like we're in a running clock, too. Hudson Sable will pick this one up for the Broncos. Another low pass. Broncos not able to control that one, so it is time for Roseville once again. Well, let's and watch this BB right again. Look at the, look at where the white shirts are here on the BB's offensive side of the field. They're right with the black shirts. Every black shirt, except one, of course, every black shirt has a white shirt with them, and it's going to make this uh, clear hard. And all we got to do is keep 5-3, the long stick. Just, just don't want to run past you. Just keep them down there. This is taking time, taking time, taking time. Well, he's got to stay with them. Good to see Max Posehn back out on the field for Bella Vista. I'm not sure about that call. We have a, uh, we do have a penalty. A Xander Melville that was running the ball up the right side. A little bit of a collision. He wound up on the ground, drew the penalty. We have 30 second push with possession. And so that will be served by Stetson Seapock. I thought Early he pushed, pushed him on the side, uh, which is legal. 
Um, but the ref was standing right there. That's the call, and that's what we got to play. Sanchez is going to take his time to pick that one up. So BB man down has been effective so far this evening. Um, as we've seen, sticks sticks up. Now, Roosevelt's got a guy on the crease. I don't think they've done that so much here. He comes off the crease now. That's uh, Doobie, the face-off guy. Yeah, he's, a little, he's still there. You want to see him locked off. When, when he gets down low, you want to see him somebody locked off on him. Munoz. Finn is at the X. Underhanded shot That's swept save. away by Lev Elliott. That's good save because uh, Elliott was a little bit screened on that shot. Ball stayed in. It's ball on the ground. I'll bring it back out. BB's even though. And the pass goes too tall. So even strength for Bella Vista, 8.36 to go. Broncos have possession. Clock stopped on that one. I'm, I don't know that we're in running time I don't think we are. I think I was. Uh, we, we probably will be. I think I misspoke. Or maybe it was just a little premature. We'll see. Or it could be clock operator's option going on. Here's a swinging shot from the right side. That goes out of bounds. Roseville will keep possession. Finn. And that's Woods. Braden Woods with it. That's Sanchez. Right out in front, they've got Finn cutting in. He wasn't really open. Got a two and one here. Broncos on the move. Some nice work to avoid the uh, the contact. That's Thomas Lonnie. Looks like a pass was unexpected. Posing controls it. It's a good check. And that's Aaron Bryant. Ryan is there, but Posehn is also there to come up with it. So, you know, they should realize uh, they, they could probably be quicker than 53. Uh, so if you were to isolate on 53, it could probably work. Nice work by Pellegrini to pick up the loose ball. Here's Reynolds once again. Broncos will swing it back outside once again. One more trip around the world here. Played. That's a shot, straight over. And there's Pellegrini, saved by Dahl. That shot would have been better on the ground at the goalie's feet. Something to work on for young guys. I mean, he, you know, he, he got himself open and got himself a good drive into the goal, but but now what? And so he's got to, you know, have that mental process going. Pellegrini with a bounce shot. Yeah, a little far away from the goal, but. Uh, yeah, getting those shots down at the goalie's feet. It's a good shot selection plays. Broncos to maintain possession. 6.32 to go, fourth quarter. That'll go across. And this Black is going to go over to Roseville. Sanchez will begin the possession at midfield. They're still switching up a little bit as they'll set their offense here, trailing by 10. Broncos come up with it, or at least did for a moment. Shot. Munoz. Yep. Save Lev Elliott. Had a terrific game tonight when the shots have come his way. Only two have gotten past him. Gonna want to work on a little crisper passing. If that pass had gotten there sooner, the BB guy would have still been open. Trujillo. Trujillo 
way out front. Now Sanchez on the far side. Broncos have a chance That'll here. Cross. Call the play on. White ball. And Broncos will keep it. Lonnie will come up and uh, begin this possession. Under five minutes to go. There's Lonnie weaving his way. He'll wind up. From last week. And Dahl comes up with that goalie. one. Braden Woods having a little trouble, sweeps at it. Sandbach comes up with it. Well, he almost did. Sandbach now has the, the, the possession. Good time for BB to settle, get it around a couple times. He's calling yellow. He's calling a sub. The X, Brian. And they'll bring it back out. That one a little too tall for Pellegrini. That'll go across too. 5 0 went across. You got to pay attention to where you are. It's completely offsides. Or 4 3. 4 3 went across. Across the 5 0. The 50 yard line. This is Brandon Carlson with the ball. Tried to find Doobie. Go, buddy. See, they had two guys there, but it might have been a good good time to just take that to the corner. Turn around, go backwards, go way back to the corner and set up a, a full field clear, a full team clear. Finn behind the net. Nice pass. Nice Trujillo. base dodge. That is a uh, nice dodge, uh, and he uh. forgot the ball as he took the shot. Broncos on the move back the other way. It's a fast break. That's Pellegrini, uh, actually, flag know, down. That's a little jump move to get free. And then he's separated from the ball. Ref was throwing that flag before the check was completed. Reynolds winds up on the ground, loose ball still. Well, this will have a chance to get the possession and keep going. But once... Uh, should Roseville get it, they'll blow it dead, but that's, uh, it will now go out of bounds and now we'll get the penalty. Black heard Live that, slash McMahon. Heard that pretty loud and clear. So BB's got a chance to uh, take all the time they need and, r and run the exact man up they want. You know, what is their plan? What's their execution going to be? Where are they, What shot are they going to take and where are they going to take it from? They've got six guys against five. This is their opportunity to do exactly that. Almost seven guys against five. It's three, four didn't need to be on there. And he came back off before it cost him anything. Right. Letting them, you know, letting them all get the time to set up. So we can watch BV's man up here. We got an open set. You know, it's it's, it's set up, set up in a circle. Back behind the net is Fosain. Sandbach. Hudson Sable. Somebody should be open. Sable finds Reynolds. I'll try to bring it back out. Got a hustle. Sable's Keep that from going across. Sable's going to chase it down. Still having trouble with it. Here comes Sable. Not, Sable not, met up with a couple of defenders. Not really what you want to do to run it in there. Nice job, Beefy. Don't go across. And. <laughs> A little too eager we were, on the part of Leo Hansen. We were saying it's it's not the defenseman's job to to to, to know when to, uh, to on other clears. The defenseman, if he's got it, he can just go across. When there's other guys down on the field, but when you know 
that everyone else on your team is on your offensive side of the field, you should know not to go. Another save for Lev Elliott. It's a good decision. That was the guy. And that will go out of bounds, and you know we're back over to Roseville. One thirty to go. When a long stick has to make a catch like that, you really want to see him choke up on his stick and make that catch with his hands much closer to the head of the stick. Pretty solid feed. And the Broncos control it once again. Mason Anderson. Still there. It's the blue line they're playing, not the white. And Anderson, heads up play, picks it up. Now he's going to want to get rid of this. Make the decision He's now, taken a couple now, of now, shots tonight. Now. He's going to take another one. And he scores! <laughs> that shot was left-handed as well. Mason Anderson, his first goal of the season, should be his first goal of his career. How about that? Thirteen to two is the score. Let's He's been on a mission Jay! tonight. He's been on a mission right. tonight. <laughs> One minute. So that should dot the exclamation point for the B BV Bronco JV squad tonight. Very impressive performance offensively. 13 goals. Ball again went uh, <coughs> went Roseville's way. But Sable comes up with the loose ball. It's in the back. Yep. Flag will fly. Just, just let the black get it, and uh, then we'll, he went across. That's he's, he's, there's no possession. I don't think there was possession was called. He, that should have been a penalty for White to cross to come out of the box like that. I think. And the Broncos have it. Now if you let Black have it, you can go man up. Hanson. Leo Hansen with the long stick. He's going to take a shot. Saved by Dahl. And that will whistle us down at 17.6 seconds to go, and the penalty will be called. And then we will uh, we'll wind this one out. Penalty Tigers, number one, be 30 seconds for a slash. Yeah, so it's six on four BV right here. <coughs> they could try and make something happen, or with these 16 seconds, they can just let it run out. So Lonnie will bring it in. They'll wind the clock. Seapok uh, and Lonnie are playing yeah. catch with it right now. It looks just, like Bellavist is just going to let this one wind down. Got to get away from there. Just an absolutely impressive offensive performance. Lonnie gets free, and now he is going to take a shot. And I guess that dots the exclamation point. Thomas Lonnie finds the back of the net one more time, his sixth goal of the game, and the game Broncos tonight. win this one 14 to two. Final score, Broncos 14, Tigers two. Jimmy will be back in action next Wednesday. So what a, what, a, what a finish there tonight for Bella Vista. What a game offensively they had. Uh, they had that seven consecutive goal stretch from the first to the second quarter. Five goals in the second quarter. They uh, uh, also had five goals in the third, and then the two late ones here in the fourth. Uh, again, rather impressive tonight offensively. They scored early, and they scored, scored often. Scored often, right, yeah. <laughs> no, they, they should feel good. And you, you know, again, Coach Glenn was telling uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, keys to the game was uh, uh, value the possessions, be aggressive, and teamwork. And we saw that happening. Uh, this evening so it also said I think it was halftime plan the work and work the plan they did it and look what you get and their next game will be a week from tonight against uh, Rio Americano it'll be a 5:30 game over at Rio and we'll follow the varsity game uh, but it's, it's going to be an opportunity for uh, for Bella Vista to uh, bounce back from one of its more disappointing losses the season opener in a non-league game against Rio uh, that where they just really struggled. They've really put things together since then. So that's going to be an interesting game next Wednesday. They're, you know, pretty similar teams. And, uh, yeah, they matched up so early. You, you don't have it together that early in the season. You just don't. And um, so they're different now. 
Um, so it'd be great. it's good to have that kind of rematch. Test yourself and see if you can beat those guys. So led by the six goals tonight of Thomas Lani, the Broncos, they win this one by a score of 14 to two, and they will get set to uh, uh, play again one week from tonight. Now, it's uh, uh, just about time to get you ready for the varsity game between the Broncos and the Roseville Tigers. Stay tuned right here on YouTube and watch for that live stream to start. We'll, we'll be getting it underway probably in about 20 minutes or so. So uh, stay with us here on BB Lacrosse on YouTube and we'll have the action for you tonight as the varsity uh, Broncos take on the varsity Tigers. I wanna thank our producer, Julie Tharlson, our camera operator, Stephanie Degata, David Houseworth, I'm George Tharlson. Have a great night.